Okay guys, so it is September 14th, 2019. It's a Saturday, the second day of Halloweekends here at Cedar Point. And I am waiting on the causeway right now just to get into the parking lot. This is absolutely insane. This is the farthest back I've ever had to wait. I've already been waiting for half a mile so far and I've got all this way to go which is another half mile probably so it's gonna be interesting to see how this goes in the park it is worth noting that the Point Fest is also going on today the Christian Music Festival they have the entire back parking lot blocked off for that and they have a stage set up and everything so I don't know how many of these people might be going to Point Fest. Hopefully, you know, a lot of people are going to that. But regardless of whether that's the case or not, it's still going to be absolutely insane in the park. So I'm meeting up with a few friends and we're going to have a great time because, you know, we're at Cedar Point, the greatest amusement park in the world. Take that golden tickets. Vote in Cedar Point at number three. Jeez. Good job, Dollywood, though. Seriously. Dollywood took the number two spot that Cedar Point has got the past few years. Um, and, you know, I think they earned it. I mean, I think Dollywood looks like an absolutely fantastic park. They have the new Wildwood Grove, which I think probably, you know, gave them the edge over Cedar Point and probably why they won. I know a lot of people don't take golden tickets too seriously. I don't really either, but you know, it's still interesting to see how the results turn out and it, it's crazy to see, you know, Cedar Point as low as number three. But, um, you know, I, I think maybe that could be a sign to them, you know, that maybe they shouldn't get so complacent with things. Maybe they, you know, oh, my camera's sliding. And hopefully they start to improve, you know, some of their shortcomings you know they could definitely improve a lot of things I think yeah that's just uh, some of my thoughts there but yeah going into Cedar Point now this line to get in is actually moving surprisingly fast now it was slower back there and I think it was because you know it turned into one lane farther up and back when it was two lanes people were trying to merge over um, now we're moving fairly quickly so that's good they're getting people through those gates sorry the footage here is really crooked I, i've never done a video like this i just decided to pull my camera out and do something while i was waiting and uh, i just kind of set it on the dashboard of my car so yeah you not, not a very pretty view there do 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 this is crazy wow oh, man i see all the cars parked all the way up to the back of the parking lot it looks like up oh, overflow parking is in use unsurprisingly well i'm gonna be getting some good exercise in today at least that, that's good I guess so I was here last night as well Friday the 13th <laughs> very fitting for first day of Halloween weekend 2019 and it was not very packed it was really good now the weather wasn't very good which is probably a big reason a lot of people weren't here um, but you know on Fridays during Halloween weekends they're only open from 6 p.m. to midnight so it's limited hours and they also have limited rides. There's a lot of rides that are closed, like all the kitty rides and even a few major ones like Top Thrill Dragster, Gemini, Rougarou, and some other ones. You know, the train, Corkscrew, some other stuff. Windseeker is closed for all of Halloween weekends this year. But I came up here and it wasn't very busy at all. I did wait about an hour for my first ride in Millennium Force because it went down. Would have only been like a 20 minute wait at tops but went down 10 minutes after i got in the line due to weather so i waited like an hour for it but i got three rides on millennium last night it was awesome oh thank you 
by the way, I got here, I got into the park, whoops, right about six o'clock when it opened. Um, went straight to, well, I tried to go to Steel Vengeance. I already had an hour wait, so I decided to head over to Millennium. So overall, I got not in any particular order. This is not in order, but I got three rides on Millennium Force, which were actually my first three rides. Um, two rides on Gatekeeper to end the night. I got a ride on Valraven, a ride on Raptor, two rides on Max Air, two rides on Blue Streak, which I got to ride with my six-year-old niece, which was awesome. It was her first time riding Blue Streak. Please, people, go to Point Fest. I hope these people are going to Point Fest. That's that's selfish of me. Or should I, should I say uh, shellfish? Shellfish, get it? Because, you know, Cedar Point, water. Yeah, I'll stop. Okay, got it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this rambling on of me. Um, it's not really anything substantive, but I figured I'd just chronicle my journey here tonight at Cedar Point for Halloween weekends. So, yeah, should be pretty fun. See you guys in the park.